Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about iOS 17 beta 1 update on my iPhone XR. So finally, yesterday night, you know, Apple showed all of us how the iOS 17 is going to be looking like. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about iOS 17 developers beta 1 update, the first iterations of iOS 17 on my iPhone XR. So as you can see from the screenshot, it came in about 2.63 gigabytes it's not a very large update i have gone from ios 16.6 beta to ios 17 so depending on that it is not a very big update but you must remember that this update is not available at the moment for everyone so this is like if you are having developer beta installed then only you would be able to sort of receive this update otherwise not in this video let's talk about what are the new features that you can expect with ios 17 at least on iphone 10r and you know if you're having some, i mean older iphones like iphone 8 8 plus or even iphone 10 so you won't be receiving this ios 17 update so ios 17 update starts with iphone 10s and then 10r and then all the newer iPhones up till iPhone 14 you get iOS 17 update so probably this iOS 17 will be the last update for this iPhone 10R let's take a look at what's new with iPhone 10R on this iOS 17 and let's talk about some of the new features that I like about iOS 17 so make sure you watch this video till the end but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on this channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said Let's get right into the video. All right, guys. So the first things first, if I go to the settings, general and about section, you can see that it says clearly iOS version is iOS 17. If I tap on that, the build number for iOS 17 developers beta one is 21A5248V. So the letter V in the end, it denotes that definitely there are going to be a couple of more betas before we get to see even the public release, which will be probably you know at the month of september right so even the public beta is going to be coming out in the month of july so definitely it is only specifically for developers beta and if i can show you if i go to the software updates and let this page load properly and you can see that how in bold format it says that ios 17 and if i go to ios beta it says that iOS 17 developers beta. So right now it is checked. So if you have already registered your email ID to an Apple developers beta program, so you can take the benefit of iOS 17 developers beta. So let me show you on the other phone on uh, iPhone 13 on which I am running iOS 16 stable version. So if I go to the software update and let this page load and let me show you. Yeah, so it came in. So beta updates, you can see that there are a couple of options now. It, it is off in this phone. So I can can even choose iOS 17 developers beta, iOS 16 public beta and iOS 16 developers beta. So these many options are available. So Apple will keep on releasing the iOS 16 developers beta and iOS 16 updates as well till the time, you know, iOS 17 is publicly available for everyone around the world. So that's regarding uh, how you can receive the update. So you have to have developers beta installed, not the profile, your email ID has to be registered, then only you will be able to install iOS 17 developers beta. So now let's talk about what's new. So in WWDC, Apple mostly talked about few things. There are, um, you know, they have redesigned this caller or the phone application and they there are a lot of new features with this text application and even with FaceTime, if you have been using that in past couple of years so there are new features with facetime as well so let's talk about one by one but before that i just wanted to highlight that in this update if i go to the about you can see that the modem firmware version at least for this iphone 10r is 5.50 and it has been actually finally updated. So if I just show you before updating, it was on 5.03.00 and from 5.03.00, it has been updated to 5.50. So there's a new modem firmware, of course, with iOS 17 and I've got that on iPhone 10R. If you have installed iOS 17 on any other devices, definitely there will be a modem firmware. So new modem firmware might help you with the newer version of iOS. So now let's take a look at what's new with iOS 17. Before I, uh, you know, talk about what's new, let's 
take a look at the settings menu as well side by side ios 16 and ios 17 so you can see that there are some difference to ios 16 and ios 17 as well so on the left i have ios 16 on right i have ios 17 so if you look closely the vpn icon it looks different right so on the ios 16 it actually says vpn but on ios 17 in more or less it looks like an icon which denotes it's a vpn connection so if you come down so there are other differences as well so on the left on ios 16 it says display and brightness and the icon looks like the older icon but in display and brightness it is the icon have been redesigned so the same goes with home screen it now says home screen and app library and the icon again have been redesigned so again there is one new wallpaper as well so uh, at the moment you can see that i have already set this wallpaper so you can also access this wallpaper if you go to add new wallpaper and you can see that you know there is a new entire section for kaleidoscope right so this section is completely new and there are a couple of wallpapers they have thrown in with ios 17 and as a collection series there is this new wallpaper and you have this option for automatic and light and dark and even if you don't want it to be changed automatically you can put it in dark mode or you can even choose it in light mode or automatic howsoever you want so there is this new wallpaper and a complete new series of wallpapers which says kaleidoscope so that is something that new with the wallpaper section with ios 17 so now let's take a look at this you know ios 17 dialer so before you know once you click on this dialer so there's a new thing actually so i had taken a screenshot once you click on this ios 17 dialer so it gives you this uh, this uh, pop-up which it, it helps you to set up your own contact card if you have watched wwdc they have focused a lot on the you know setting up your own contact profile and whenever somebody calls you that actually looks different very different from how ios 16 used to look like if somebody calls you and then you can set up your new contact card and if somebody calls you then it will be you know a very different experience so uh, right now i have already set it up if i can click on this so you would be able to see this is the profile set and you know the way you can customize your wallpaper and the way you can uh, customize your contact information the options are endless with ios 17 at the same time there is this you know uh, messages option as well so there are a lot of new things with messages they have redefined and put in a lot of new features with messages with ios 17 you know you can click this option and you can uh, not only access the stickers you can also access the other application which have been now integrated with ios 17 of messages option so you can uh, choose that you can create a sticker and creating a stickers have been now easier so you can uh, create a new sticker it is buggy at the moment so it is extremely slow you can actually choose one of your own image and then from there you can you know add it as a sticker or you can you know create a new sticker if you even if you want so you can see that in front of you i have just created a sticker and now you can use that sticker so you know to send it to all of your contacts and use it everywhere so this is buggy at the moment but definitely with ios 17 great implications of this ios 17 new memojis new stickers with this messages and great filtering option even it provides you the better option to you know text message with somebody your contacts or near friends so, there are some new features with facetime as well if you have been using facetime so now the, the, there's new features with facetime as well so if you call somebody and they are not able to pick up the call you can do you know a video recording and probably you can send it to them when they are available at their convenience they can you know probably watch that video so they have thrown in few features here and there these were some of the new features but apart from that there are many new features here and there throughout the operating system what i felt personally ios 17 is not like a drastic improvement of ios 16 there are like you know set of features which have been newly implemented with ios 17 let's talk about these one by one now so now let's talk about few of the things that i have noticed so first of all there is a new option which says standby option so if you click on that it will say what is standby means so if you have a you know stand to put on your phone and if you would like to use your iphone as a alarm clock or something like a night clock you can use that it actually works better with the iphones which have always on displays especially with iphone 14 pro series models but this option somehow is present on this older iphone 10r as well and there are a few things as well now you don't have to say hey siri always so that option is there so you can see that instead of hey siri you can you know even say siri and that works great 
apart from that there are a couple of things that i have noticed even uh, these are different in ios 17 even if you go to this passcode and you know if you go to this password option there is this new option which says clean up automatically and if you look at the description it says automatically delete the verification code in messages and mail after you know inserting the autofill so you know there are many a times when you need to put on an otp or some verification code and after you put on those verification codes still there you know uh, sitting on your inbox or sitting on your text messages right but with this option clean up automatically apple will try to clean up those verification codes once the purpose is solved so the same is not present with uh, ios 16 if i could show you this is the new option if you go to the password and the same thing you go to the password option you can see that this is a new option with ios 17 so i just wanted to highlight that so one more thing i have noticed here so if you go to the control section if you have a uh, connected apple watch so this will be very helpful for you so let me go to the control center and let me show you that so actually you can see that now ping my watch is a new option which i have added and once you add this it looks like this so basically you can just tap it and it will you know uh, create a noise or create a sound on your apple watch and if you are unable to find your apple watch right from where you uh, are so you can just you know uh, create a noise or create a sound which will let you know where your apple watch exactly is so this is a great feature and have been integrated so one more thing again there is different uh, let me go to this privacy and option so privacy and security so let me just go there so i'm just going to go in both of the phones and so that in that way you get to see the difference so even if you just go down you can see that under safety check there is a new option with ios 17 which is sensitive content warning so that is not present with ios 16 so at the moment it is like turned off even if you want it will actually detect some of the adult photos or videos before they are viewed on your iphone it gives you the description sort of like what it does and why it is there so you can turn it on and off i think these uh, little features here and there are hidden many were in this uh, ios 17 and you just need to dig in and you just need to find that but there are a lot of features like this are new with ios 17 so you know these are some of the features that i found new with ios 17 and even apart from that there are a couple of more features like you see that i'm using a static widget right so now with ios 17 you would be able to use the you know interactive widget like let's say you can use the widget which is of music application and from the widget itself you know you can just scroll through the music you can just start or play or pause the music so those things are new with ios 17 as well so overall ios 17 is a welcome change but nothing like sort of redesign changes things like that nothing is there with ios 17 and probably for iphone 10 this would be the last update it would be very interesting to see if iphone 10r gets ios 18 i would be surprised even iphone 10r gets that or not so definitely ios 17 uh, in my view would be the last update for iphone 10r so i'm going to use it on my iphone 10r as a developer's beta and definitely all these features that i have talked about in this video doesn't work perfectly at the moment you know there are some bugs as well so for your interest i also ran the geekbench 4 after i've installed ios 17 you can see that geekbench scores are decent it is actually very close to what you were getting on ios 16 developer's beta so single core score came in about 1114 and the multi core score came in about 2438 and then again i wanted to remind you again if you are using you know ios 16 at the moment you won't be able to get ios 17 for you to get and install ios 17 on your supported iphones you need to definitely have a developer's account your email id should be registered to apple developers beta program so in that way you would be able to sort of get the first look at ios 17 and you know it would be somewhere between 2.5 to 3 gigabyte i know on all the iphones that i have noticed so then again that's it for this video i will be making many more videos on ipad os watch os and definitely ipad os 17 there are some new widget and there's this new health app that have been introduced for ipad as well and text advantage of the biggest screen of the ipad so all those things i will be making videos about let me know in the uh, comment section below if you have already installed ios 17 and are you excited for ios 17 and if you have an iphone 10 or i mean this phone has been phenomenal i mean they have been pushing updates for iphone 10 r for such a long time i just wanted to appreciate and just wanted to take a moment and say that i love my iphone 10 r i have been using it for like now 
almost five years and you know it's it's been great it's been great experience so then again with that note i just want to end this video here definitely do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel if you have liked the content and want to see more contents like this and i will see you on my next video bye bye